What's going on, fellas? Got a video here from the adamant mindset. Women are losing easy get rich plans since men no longer want to date them. They should be good. Let's get into it. You don't need to go through the rejection and the expense and the humiliation and working out and having a plan and humor and showering to get a romantic relationship. You have you. You have essentially a group of men who are saying, I want a low risk entry into life. And they go down a rabbit hole when they don't have social connections and they don't get out and they don't have the prospect of a romantic relationship. They're more prone to conspiracy theory. They're more prone to misogynistic content. They're less likely to believe in climate change change. And some they come become really bad citizens. We are producing too many of the most dangerous person in the world. Well, this is Morning Joe. So <laughs> what do you expect? Man, this is just pure comedy at this point. And that's just a segment from the video I'm going to show you now. So this is going to be very entertaining to watch and see how these idiots trying to figure out how dating is and why men are away from dating any woman. A growing number of younger Americans aren't dating. They're not hanging out. And no, they're not even hooking up. For so many women who want to date men, Dating has become a total nightmare, and there are a number of reasons why. why I that? have heard from a lot of young women who want to date young men that there are none. There are no guys. They're trying to connect. They often use dating apps, but find a total lack of connection. And it seems that the men they are meeting don't really share the same priorities. And right off the bat, what I notice because it's MSNBC and it's par for the course, they have four women. Not one of them is a man that might be able to tell them why men, modern men, men in this day and time are not willing to date modern women if they show up. Women, especially career driven women, say the men they're meeting are more interested in sex and not looking for a deeper connection and that it's becoming more and more of a problem. So what's changing? Because not that long ago, people used to meet each other through work, let's be honest, or through friends, maybe <laughs> at a bar That's your story. or at a college campus. And it gave people a chance to actually learn about each other, to break through the filters, to demonstrate kindness and show commitment and values to actually earn affection. But today, so many people are living life through a screen. They're not going out nearly as much, not to church, not to movies, or even to the office. Opportunities to fall in love are falling by the wayside, meaning people are making decisions by swiping left on their smartphones rather than truly learning to connect the highs, the lows, the disappointments, all of that stuff. Wow, they try online dating apps and wonder why men don't stick around or have deeper connection. They just want to sleep around and then just move on. They really wonder why that's happening. A little bit of study or just Google search will let you know that only 10 or just 5% of men get selected on these dating apps. These men have so much option that they can sleep around almost every day with different women. That's the kind of option dating apps give them. And then they wonder why such men don't stick around. It's a very simple math, but they just don't understand it. And also, you have to understand that if you're a man and you're on the dating apps, I think personally, it would behoove you to get on multiple dating apps. Well, why do you say that? Because I've seen it to where women might say be on, on Tinder or something like that. And they they well, let me let me say it like this. You might see a woman on a Christian dating app and she's portrayed, oh, I love to go to church. I love to da 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 and all the whole nine. She got the dress and everything. Then you download Tinder and you put your profile, you just set up a little something and you just swipe it. It's like, man, I seen that girl on a Christian dating app and she was saying that she was X, Y, and Z or even on Bumble or Hinge or whatever else. My point is they portray themselves to be something in one area and then you get somewhere else and they are totally opposite of that. They're totally different. 
or you get to dig more into who they actually are and you'd be like, uh, no. And it allows you to stop it right there instead of taking them out on a date when you don't really like them. I've seen a little bit more about you and I'm thinking this is not going to be it. Obviously, men could do this as well. So I don't want to put it just on the women. I'm just saying from my point of view, I've seen this. And before understanding why men won't stick around, you should figure out why women aren't qualified enough for most men. Because look at them, modern women aren't worth it. And it's affecting mental health too. According to a recent study of people over the age of 18, those who used swipe-based dating apps experience significantly higher rates of psychological distress, anxiety, and depression. Another study showed a link between using dating apps and experiencing loneliness, dissatisfaction with life, and this is a big one, a feeling of exclusion from the world, feeling so left out. And when women do go to coffee shops, what we're hearing is that they try or to a club or the grocery store or anything where they get out and interact with people. Girl. They say the men that they want to meet just don't share their ideals. Girl. It's partly because so many young men are spending their lives also logged in, overly influenced by a flood of whatever you can find online. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Hey, yo. I get it. I understand that this is a problem, but this man, listen, man, look, they going to say whatever they going to say on NBC. This is what I was saying. Whoa, whoa you hate doing NBC. This why, this why it's not going to put the blame on women. It's not going to make women take any accountability. Okay. I, as the man, I'll take some accountability and I'll say, there are some real creepers out there. There are some real stalkers. There are some real people who harass women, catcalling and doing some silly stuff. But also on the other side, you have to see and understand. And certainly you've heard from your girlfriends. We don't want these men coming up to us. We don't want to have anything to do with them. But it, but men ain't coming up to women because of, because it is. Come on, man. Come on, man. Video games, toxic masculinity. Who needs the real thing when you can get something uh, better, and I put that in quotes, by scrolling? Right. Here's what Scott Galloway, professor of marketing at NYU, told us on Morning Joe about some of the reasons why men are becoming like this. See what they did there? All of a sudden, they tried to put all the blame on men without realizing that the women only choose the good-looking guys, which are very rare, even, in, even on those coffee shops or uh, supermarket or whatever they're trying to find they only and they're about to stick in a professor from nyu a man oh, we got a man's perspective from y'all know what y'all doing they're looking for good looking guys who are tall and all that stuff mm. and they're probably looking for a guy who's spending more just to assume that he's earning more they're doing all that stuff and then they wonder why such men are not uh, choosing them because such men already have common sense that women are going to pick on them on certain situations are very desperate. Only desperate women do that. And they're no, they, they don't want such kind of woman. Let's be honest. I think you have the most talented, well-resourced people in the world and companies yeah. trying to convince a young man that he can have a reasonable facsimile of life in his basement behind a screen. You don't need friends, go on Reddit or Discord. Mm. You don't need to get a job. Go on Robinhood or Coinbase and trade crypto and stocks. You don't need to go through the rejection and the expense and the humiliation and working out and having a plan and humor and showering to get a romantic relationship. You have you. So we have an entire generation, especially of young men, who are out home sequestering from society and missing out on what it means. You know, there's a reason romantic comedies are two hours and not 15 minutes. True victory in life is hard. Going out, meeting someone, finding mentors, finding mates, that stuff is hard, but that's what real victory in real life is like. And because a lot of men feel rejected on dating apps, the number of jobs that are accessible to them has gone down. You have essentially a group of men who are saying, I want a low risk entry into life. And they go down a rabbit hole when they don't have social connections and they don't get out and they don't have the prospect of a romantic relationship. They're more prone to conspiracy theory. They're more prone to misogynistic content. They're less likely to believe in climate change change. And some they come 
become really bad citizens. We are producing too many of the most dangerous person in the world. And that is a young, broke and lonely young man. Wow. As Professor Galloway pointed out, one in three relationships. Well, hold on, Mika. He just said, amongst other things, that men were on Robin Hood. And if last time I checked, you trade stocks there. So maybe they're on Robin Hood, but maybe they're also on other stock trading platforms. And you're saying that they're broke. Well, maybe they're doing those things to trying to figure out a way to get money because society has been telling them they have to be providers at all costs. It doesn't matter if you go out or do whatever you're doing. If you don't have any money, these modern women don't want to date you. These they don't want to have anything to do with you. Yeah, you got to get out. You got to be on the hunt. You got to improve your social skills. I love all of that. I get all of that. But the man needs to have something going for himself before he gets out there or it's just going to be a fling. A, a woman's just going to be like, you know what? I had fun with him, but he's just not somebody I'm looking to settle down with. And that puts her in a bad position because she didn't best around with this man. And then the next man that she wants to take her seriously is going to be like, you've been doing too much out of these streets. I'm going to pass. And now she's mad because she actually had a good opportunity, but she was messing around with a broke dude. Broke dude that you were just making fun of. Come on, man. Used to begin at work. Now young people are not going into the office as often. And if you are a young man at work, are you more or less inclined to express some sort of romantic interest in a potential partner now than you were 40 years ago? The answer is clearly no. By the way, men and women have been told in many places that if you have feelings for someone at work, you have to go to HR first. That'll kill the moment. And I get why that's the policy. I get how we got here. Having said that, the unforeseen consequences of the Me Too movement or of Me Too in, in general and the problems mm -hmm. that began the movement, mm -hmm. that's a show we need to do at some point. <laughs> and we have to have a really honest conversation about that. But that's not this show. You think MSNBC going to let you do that show? Y'all going to be having honest conversations about that? Yeah, we are very well aware what kind of con conversation you're going to have about that topic. Come on, man. So, of course, it's going to be about men. Only men have to control themselves. Men have to do this. Men have to do that. Women have to do nothing. They're perfect. They can't do anything. False allegations? Nah. Women can't do that. They're innocent. That's all the kind of blue on the top. And we can already sense it. And the previously she mentioned that, like, single lonely men are uh, very dangerous and stuff but they don't uh, seem to ask that why m women aren't interested in those like they can clearly solve the issue if women are into those men but clearly women only they up they're not gonna uh, find some broke guy and settle with him or improve his life they're not gonna look for that but men on the other hand they have been doing that for centuries looking after this broke woman that doesn't be, that doesn't seem to be a problem and it's supposed to be a normal thing make it make sense wow as professor galloway pointed out one in three relationships used to begin at work now young people are not going into the office as often and if you are a young man at work are you more or less inclined to express some sort of romantic interest in a potential partner now than you were 40 years ago? The answer is clearly no. So when women are lonely, we are supposed to feel sorry for them. But when men are lonely, we are mocked and called incels. Exactly. I saw somewhere on the internet, they said that feminism didn't only free women, it freed men from being the family cash cow. Now that's one way to put it. They're trying to use sign language to shame men in a mass chase women again. This propaganda is funny. Exactly. It's always about men being the wrong. A woman can never be wrong. They are so pure. The worst thing anyone is lacking in this society is women and accountability. Men don't need to hustle to support themselves. We can get through life with far less money. 
Yeah, that's what I said in a previous video, man. Men can live satisfied in life with minimal things in life. We no longer have to work as much harder because we don't have to impress women, which in return needed like they needed more money because that's what they look in a man. But since we are not interested in women anymore, we have a lot of burden taken out of and we can enjoy life more peacefully now. Well, that's just me. Let me know what you guys feel about this. We are women that actually get to live on our own. And before I move on to that, that next video, I was just looking at some statistics about uh, socializing, how, may, how much, how often do Americans spend time socializing? And one thing that I, I didn't really like that uh, the guy said on the show, the professor said on the show is, it's just men out here being at the house, not doing anything. They never get out. That takes me back to a video clip that I reviewed where the woman was talking about, how come I don't see any black men traveling? <laughs> and then there was a bunch of black men in the comments saying we do travel just because we don't travel to the same places like you guys do or go to the same areas or restaurants that you guys do doesn't mean that we're traveling. What you were trying to do is go to Dominican Republic or some other island out here or place and hopefully run into a, a, a luscious chocolate hot black man and just six foot with abs on the beach and in the water just came out glistening and he just we just hit it off in the chemistry and that night we went to dinner and it just fireworks and we've been in love ever since and that was 23 years ago sort of thing instead of coming back to reality and thinking maybe i'm going to meet a man right in my immediate area or maybe another state over or maybe through somebody that I know that hooks us up together, a warm, a warm opening or a warm approach, something like that. Maybe it's not going to be me hanging around in the club with a bottle in my hand and a man parts the Red Sea and comes to get me. They're not thinking about that. They're not They're They're just saying, well, there's no men anywhere. They're all at home watching this stuff on the Internet, watching this stuff online. They're lonely. No, you need to include women in there. They're not socializing either. They're sitting in the house doing whatever it is that they're doing. But you like to bash men for playing games, for watching TV, acting like they're not working. Come on, man. Why you guys do that stuff? Bro, for the first time in like literally like history, bro, I literally saw a girl on TikTok was like, we are the first generation in a lot of our lineage yes. to be women to pay and paying our, all of our own bills without a man and no kids yes and you have the luxury to choose to do that Two. this is not like oh this is what i well, this is what i want to do and i don't need a man for it and if i a man comes cool but i don't need a man i don't for need it. him for that yeah yeah and i was like okay like once i started thinking about it like that it really helped me learn how to be alone because i was like in reality i'm looking at my apartment and all this is me right here be free and acting up how is that working off for future of humanity? Wait, my mom raised eight of us with zero help from 70s. What crop did he just climb out of? Isn't that what you call adulthood around bugging? No, you're not bugging. That is adulthood. You just saw what that woman said. We don't need a man. What am I going to be outside for? Chilling with my boys? Hanging with my boys? That's what I'm going to be outside for. And you're going to wonder why men ain't approaching. You just said that you didn't need a man. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh, I'm looking at my apartment. It's all me. Fantastic. I'm looking at my apartment. It's all me too. What are we doing? Why do you think that you have to stick your chest out and be like, oh man, it's all me. This is, I'm so great. Why would a man want to be around, around? That's conceited, bro. Why would anybody want to be around that? Your friends, well, you know what? They would want to be, be around that. These type of women would want to be around that type of stuff. Cause they're hyping each other. Oh, you're a 10, I'm a 10. But then when they get outside, they hear reality is like, mm -mm, you're not a 10 to me. Oh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> I'm the beholder. You wonder why men ain't approaching? Cause you ain't cute. You're not cute to me. Well, I'm cute. I know I'm a 10. I'm this. Yeah, yeah, you cute, but your, your, your attitude ain't. Your personality ain't. And it's going to end up in the same thing. The same result. I'm not going to be approaching. And you're still going to be wondering why I'm going to be. I didn't been told you, but you're not listening. You're going to go on these shows. Y'all going to get what, whatever professor from whatever 
college or whatever university that agree with you all these women that you got down in the panel nice and set up got their little makeup on and their little haircuts and all that stuff and you're still gonna come back to the same thing we're not approaching why not because you said not to because you're out here acting stupid you're out here saying stupid stuff you're out here trying to embarrass me and you expect a good looking guy to take that the high value man to take that he's not gonna take that either because <laughs> it's not cute it's not feminine it's not nothing that any man will want to be a part of Jigger, Jigger. Look. i'm a high value man i've done things to step up my echelon and i'm not going to settle mm -hmm. for a single mother there you did go. i have that correctly i want to be clear there you go i i, I wouldn't even go on. i wouldn't even i didn't even know that was coming yeah we'll, we'll be selling right so what makes you think you're a high value man the car you drive no the value I put out into the world. What about your character? I have great character. I have built myself to basically have better choices. You want to know why? Because women can choose and, and make a choice. They can. They can say, I don't want to date a man and make like six figures. They can. And then what are you doing? You're well, demeaning a man. But we're not talking about that. Women that's not the about situation that what I Listen, want to that's not the conversation. Say, I won't date a man less than five, eight. And the man could be five, four. Do they, do they care about what does that have to do with all of those with men? anything? If a fat man is sitting here, he can be a fat man, right? The man said, you just ask that man, what makes you a high value man? The value that I put out into the world. Essentially what you're doing is asking him what qualifies you to be a high value man. He's saying, this is what I bring to the world. Also, how come I can't have a standard? If you guys are saying, I don't want to date a five, eight man. Nobody's questioning that. Or women not questioning that. They say, yeah, go off. Men are saying, wait a minute. I'm a good guy. I'm five, eight. I'm five, nine. I'm average. But I'm still a good guy. I'll take care of you. You don't got a problem with that. But when a man says, I'm not really into single moms. I mean, I'm I'm sure they're good people, but I don't want to deal with all that. You ain't even give me a chance. Exactly. Uh -huh. But if a fat woman is sitting here, you would say, oh, no, we're body positive. Thank oh, you. no, we can't say that. We can't. It's all about picking her up. So every time it's saying something for a man, bro, it's down. You got you got a lot on your back. Yeah, OK, check it, check it. Man, the hypocrisy never stops. Exactly. So he can't have a preference. Exactly, man. She made better choices and want better was the problem. With my son was successful, accomplished. No baby mama and, and had a good character, I would demand. He never settles for a woman in And that's a woman saying that. Why do women want everything to be about them and them only? Exactly. This is so stupid. The reason why I knew I needed to get a divorce was because I have a crystal clear memory of me having sex with my husband and thinking about this other guy and me knowing in that moment I have to divorce him because if I don't get I've out of this marriage, I'm going to cheat on him. I'm going to try to find this. That's and I know that's really f***ed up, but I didn't want to be no, a it's cheater. No, it's not. I it is. It is. <laughs> you know what? that's it that that i think that's about all i can take i, I th appreciate the video um you know <laughs> this is what we're talking about the degeneracy of these types of women i knew in that moment when my husband was trying to make love to me in my mind in my mind i was making love to somebody else what 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 are we doing and not only rather than stay silent, rather than let her just talk, rather than just let her go off and walk the plank by herself. They agree with it. No, 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 you're not. It's OK. You're fine. I, I'm validating your feelings of, of stupidity. I'm validating those those opinions. Those are fine. Just just keep on talking. Just keep on embarrassing yourself in front of the entire world. Just keep on. Just go at it. I was in the bed with my husband. My husband was on top of me and I was thinking about another man. And I knew in that moment I had to get away from my husband because I was going to keep on doing this rather than me stepping back and saying, man, there's a problem with me. I need to go get therapy. I need to figure out why I'm thinking like this. I need to talk to my husband about it's going to be a hard conversation, but I need to fix this. I'm in a marriage. I need to fix this. This we got to get to the root cause, the, the bottom of this. You can always understand and find out it's a gut feeling. It's my intuition. It's a woman's intuition. When my man ain't giving me the attention that I need, is he cheating? What's going on? What's happening? 
but you're sitting there, man, with the man on top. You can't figure out, you can't use that same intuition to get to the bottom of why you feel that way. Instead, you just lead a man. You would just leave him. I'm just going to go do something else. I'm just going to find some work. And instead of somebody like, yeah, man, that's crazy. And then leaving it alone or just staying silent. Or somebody said, man, I, honestly, I understand where you come from, but I would get some help with that because you're going to carry that type of mindset into other relationships. You sit there and validate and say, no, it's no problem. That's great that you went through that. I've, I've gone through that too. And your feelings are valid. Who's going to stop them? Who's going to say, yeah, both of you together have a stupid ideology. I'm not calling you stupid. I'm saying the thought process that you're going through right now, it needs to change. You need to fix it. You cannot expect a man to come in paying for you. Then maybe you guys are having some sort of intimacy. The man didn't just pay for dinner. It may pay for food. The man taking care of you like you want. You're born a, a provider man. And then you say something stupid like this. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> anyway, all that's just my opinion. All that's just my opinion. Maybe I have a different one. Until the next video, I'm out. <laughs>